Hello, and welcome to John Plays Games, where... Oh, my controller's down there. Uh, yeah, the, the, some of you noted the, the clock was slightly off, because I messed up uh, setting it up at the beginning. But that's okay, we still started at the same time anyway. Um, but yes, we're going to play some Star Fox Assault. This is one of my favorite games ever. And uh, we're gonna have a good time. I'm gonna try to put it. I'm gonna put it on silver difficulty, which um, if I have it on silver difficulty on my little computer monitor while talking to you, uh, I don't know how it'll go. I might just die because um, this game gets kind of tough fast at the higher levels. Um, but we'll give it a shot. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Looks like. Okay, I am making sound this time. That's good. Remnants of Andros's butchers. You've kept us busy, but now your end is at hand. No quarter! Show these dogs! We need it's very cinematic. Dramatic. All ships, battle formation B. Break through the center. The corner in the field is broken through our front lines. They're everywhere. Bring your tough, eh? In that case, it's secret weapon time! Stealth squadron, open fire! Oh, no! Hello. Detecting gate transmission outside the combat sector. Are you Star Fox? You're my king. Great Fox? Command, this is Star Fox team. Team Star Fox, ready for duty. Ah, leave these losers to the pros. We'll beat them in no time. Right, okay, well, while that cutscene was going on, um, which one of you said it? Oh, John Mosser said, I think it would be cool if Masahiro Sakurai made a Star Fox game. He seemed to do pretty well with Kid Icarus. Camera, I'm down here. Thank you. Um, I agree. Yeah, Kid Icarus Uprising is like a fantastic Star Fox game. Um, and yeah, yeah, I agree totally. Uh, and yeah, this game, uh, at the time, looked pretty, pretty good. But it is still a GameCube game. We're here because we got to put this creep on ice. Yes, you must take him down. I'm counting on you. Now get prepped and go. We're even playing in progressive scan mode, so we get you know nice, crystal clear. 480p visuals. Granted, all this stuff is pre-rendered. Yeah, I mean this this stuff is cheating because it's uh, it's it's all this is all pre-rendered stuff. It's far too shiny for the GameCube to actually pull off. You asking if it's my first time playing this game? No. No, what's the opposite of first time? Um cuz cuz I've I've played this game once or twice in my life. Just just now and then. Okay. Um what was I going to say? I thought about something I wanted to say while you guys were during the cutscene. Um but now I don't remember what it was. I'll think of it. It'll come back to me. Alright, I just gotta remember that we're on sil silver difficulty, so I gotta pay attention a little bit. Let's see, now I can... There's a way to... Oh, there it is. Okay, that's, that's what that button is. Okay. We good. Is it... What's the... Ah, oh, never mind. 
I'll remember the buttons later. Ooh, my, my A button on this controller is a little bit sticky, but I think we'll be okay. As long as I kind of hang out on the edge of it, we're, uh, we're okay. That's all fine. Did you ever unlock Wolf? Yes, I did. Um, and the Wolfen for multiplayer, um, which is just objectively better than the R-Wing. So whoever got the Wolfen just won. And there was that one weapon that was like a missile barrage. Um, it kind of worked like the... Um, it's almost like the Tenta missile from Splatoon. Um, but they had a weapon like that in the multiplayer. Um, and uh, it was so... Like, any time that spawned on the map, it was just a mad dash to to get to it. Pew! Um, I was gonna... I guess in... Uh, th oh, this is after Adventure. This was the one that came right after Adventure. So that's why Crystal is on the team. Uh, Peppy is retired to, like, a support position. This is right after Adventure and just before Star Fox Command. Um, and honestly, I feel like, like, this game... I think this is what I was gonna say. This game... If the one issue I have with this game is that it doesn't have branching paths, it's the one Star Fox game that only has, like, a set course through it. Um, and so... But the, the, the upshot is that, like, the story is a lot more fleshed out. Um, so, like, if you made this Star Fox game, but gave it a couple different endings and had some branching paths in it, it would be amazing. Like this, this is the template. Add branching paths to this game and you have the template for what I think would be like the perfect Star Fox game. Cause this game is fantastic. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we're definitely on silver difficulty because these guys are way, take way longer to kill. Like I might, I would actually probably have to use the bomb if I wanted to kill him. There we go. Boop. Oh, I missed it. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, there's one. Oh, I missed one. There we go. Uh, last console Star Fox before Zero. Yes. Yes, it was. Multiplayer for this game was pretty good. It was amazing. Uh, dude, this game is my childhood. My brother, uncle, and I used to play this together all the time when we were young. Yeah, this game is fantastic. Um, I think it, it had a pro like, it came out right after Adventures, which, at the time, people weren't super... I mean, even now, um, people have a bit more nostalgia for it now, but uh, people weren't super about Star Fox Adventures for obvious reasons. Um, it was very different. And so I think by the time this game came out, people were kind of like, I don't know about that whole Star Fox thing, and just kind of didn't. They just stayed clear of it, uh, which is too bad because this game is amazing. I uh, never played this before, but it looks awesome. Yes, it is. Uh, I never could figure out how to unlock Wolf. I think Wolf was, like, a certain number of multiplayer matches played. Uh, most of the unlocks were through the multiplayer, not the single player. The one big thing that was unlocked through the single player was if you beat it on... I think it was... If you got all the silver medals, you unlocked um, Xavius for the NES as, like, a just bonus game, which was pointless, but, you know, I guess kind of neat. This was an era before Virtual Console. So, like, having access to those old games on modern hardware was a, a novelty. Um, that's, you know, the, another good example of that, like, Animal Crossing on the GameCube, where you could unlock NES games. That was crazy at the time. Totally not anything you would think of doing today. But uh, at the time, it was insanely cool. Uh, yes, yeah, Star Fox completely skipped the Wii generation, which to this day I'm still salty about. I'm trying to read that while playing. This is, it was probably a bad idea to play on silver difficulty because I'm going gonna, gonna to get killed because I'm reading comments. They really load you up on the uh, laser power-ups in this first level. Second level, I don't know. Uh, oh, bomb. Oh, I put it a little bit too far back. If you put that just right, you can blow up, like, all of these guys. It's very dramatic and delightful. Uh, which I'm still salty about, because I feel like the Wii pointer controls would be perfect for a Star Fox game. Yeah, if you made it play kind of like, um, like Sin and Punishment, or, um, like Sin and Punishment Star Successor, is that what it's called? On Wii? That could totally work, which is a, a lot like how Kid Icarus works. 
um, Kid Icarus Uprising. And we were just talking earlier about how Kid Icarus Uprising is kind of like a Star Fox game. Um, which I think is why I like it so much. In fact, it has a lot in common with this game, because like this game, it goes back and forth between like aerial segments and then like ground segments. Um, so it, it actually has a lot in common with the Star Fox series. And yes, I think Sakurai would be the perfect person to just give, like, be like, take the Star Fox license and just go nuts. Whoop. But uh, after how Star Fox Zero did, I'll be, I'm not horribly optimistic about this series coming back, even this generation. Um, but we'll see. I mean, hopefully they saw that there's still a very active fan base when the SNES Classic came out and and people played Star Fox 2. Um, granted, not everyone liked it, but but people who had good taste liked it. Boom. Hey, John, what's your favorite Zelda? Uh, my favorite Zelda is Majora's Mask. Um, yeah. Dude, Twilight Princess is my favorite Zelda game. Oh, that j I get you. I get you. Who made this game? Uh, Namco made this one. Um, I think it was like the Ace Combat team did this game. If I, it, I could be totally wrong, but I feel like I remember that. Um, don't quote me on that. I could, I could be very wrong. Um, but yeah. We need a new Kid Icarus game on Switch. How about a Kid Icarus uh, Star Fox crossover game? That's a turn-based RPG, tactical RPG, made by Ubisoft. What's the worst Zelda? Um, I mean, there's like the CDI Zeldas, but if we're talking like canon Zelda games, my least... I guess like my least favorite Zelda... I mean, there aren't any bad ones, as far as like the canon ones go. Um, ahaha! Um, don't need chest bump me. Um, there we go. Oh, what would be the my least favorite? I guess it's probably... It's probably Link's Awakening. That one has a bunch of really obtuse fetch questy stuff. Like, where you have to, like, take this item to this guy to get this other item, to take to this other guy to get another item to take to this guy. And, like, there's no explanation of how that works, you just kind of have to figure it out. There's a lot of that in Link's Awakening. So, that would probably be my least favorite. But I still like it. Like, I've played through it several times. Um... So, yeah. Uh, Skyward Sword, Breath of the Wild isn't the worst Zelda. Um, Skyward Sword, I like Skyward Sword. Um, I know a lot of people don't. Um, granted, I mean, you guys know that I like motion controls and, and weird stuff like that. I like games that do weird things um, and create new experiences. And that's exactly what Skyward Sword was. It also told a really good story. I get that it was very linear Zelda, but if you dislike Skyward Sword for being linear, then I have terrible news for you about Link to the Past and Ocarina of Time. They're super linear. Um, so I don't feel like that's a totally fair criticism of it. If you don't like the motion controls, that's fine. That's, that's something that I really enjoy, but I know that that's... Not everyone likes weird things added to their games. But I do. Oh, watch out for directs. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, just keep that on him, and then oh, 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 oh! I'm doing a terrible job of dodging the rocks. Oh, he's, his thing isn't even open anymore. Open back up. Open your head. Ow. Oh, open your head so that I can shoot you. Boop. Boop. Oh, you're so close. Just die. Just die. Just. Mm, just now. You're so close to being done. Just, 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 just. Oh, you're just one, one more shot. Literally one more hit, and you're dead. There we go. Okay. Uh. Wrong John didn't mean to steal the spotlight. No, you're good. You're good. I think that's a valid question to all the Johns in the room. Um. You get used to the controls the more you play for Skyward Sword. Um. Yeah. I mean, I think it's that's. It's the same thing with, you know, like, Star Fox Zero, or, or any... Kid Icarus Uprising is another example of a game with really weird controls that 
you kind of just get used to as you play. Um, if you take the time, like with those weird games, if you just take the time to let the game teach you, then they usually wind up okay. I mean, that's the thing you have to remember is like the dual analog controller um, and like dual, like a first person shooter, right? That's a control scheme that everyone knows. Um, there was a time when that control scheme was considered just crazy. It was an alien game on like PS1. Um, and it used dual analog first person shooter controls and people railed it in the reviews because they were like, no one can figure out this stupid control scheme. And now we consider that to be like the normal control scheme for a first person game. So you just just give it the time, like learn a game, and then like once you've once you've put in the time to learn it and approach it with an open mind. If you still don't like it, you know that's fine. Uh, I want Skyward Sword on Switch. Me too. I'd like an HD remake of it. Um, the one I'll hear, I'll do a Zelda game that's overrated. I don't think it's the worst one, but I think it's very overrated. Would be Link to the Past. I think Link to the Past is an overrated Zelda game. Um, because it was the first linear Zelda game, after two open-world Zelda games. N and you may now commence stabbing me. Members of Star Fox, a grave danger looms. The Lilac system is in peril. What? How do you know? We know. The research director will brief you on all the details. Hello again, everybody. Dad? You're the research director? Yeah, GoldenEye has the controls that, like, most first-person shooter... I mean, it has controls based on, like, Doom, you know, like, really early... Or, like, Wolfenstein, like, early first-person shooters. That Alien game, I can't think of what it's called. But you can look it up. Um, that was, like, the first use of, of, like, the standard dual analog control setup. A whole fleet was destroyed by a soul aperoid. We were somehow able to survive that trial, but that was just a taste of, of what's coming. We are currently analyzing data from the core memory you found. But we could understand much more if we had a complete specimen. Link to the past had so many colors. It certainly had Link had pink hair, so that that was a weird choice. Somebody decided to do that and like nobody stopped him. They were like, Yep, that's that's the color his hair should be. That's fine. Totally okay with that. I'll head to the surface immediately. That signal shouldn't be too hard to find. Aliens? it's too dangerous. Like like the alien if we're talking about that game I was talking about earlier, it's the alien, like the franchise. Um like alien, aliens, aliens covenant, aliens three, or alien three, uh Prometheus. All, all those. Resurrection. That movie. Wasn't there a reason for the pink hair? Uh, I don't know, but he didn't have pink hair in any of the artwork or the instruction manual. It was just that sprite, and I never understood why. Um, now, for those of you who have played Star Fox 2, you know that when you get to ground missions in Star Fox 2, it's all about, like, it'll tell you, like, there's some targets you need to find. You need to find, like, destroy these targets, and then you can move on. Um... That is a concept that Star Fox Assault uses a lot. Um, me and Neil have talked, we did a, a discussion of Star Fox 2 a while back, and we talked a lot about this. All the Star Fox games after Star Fox 2, even though Star Fox 2 never released until, like, last year, um, a lot of the Star Fox games used mechanics from it. Um, and so that's, like, in this one, you have the target hunting um, in these all-range ground missions. Uh, this is straight out of... Uh, Star Fox 2. Do, 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 do. Um, which is funny because at the time, you know, everybody was like, oh, they're just they're trying to appeal to the Star Fox adventure crowd by having these ground missions. And then you look back on it later and you go, oh, no, they were just, they found this cool thing in Star Fox 2. Because I have this theory that every Star Fox developer since Star Fox 2 has been allowed to play the Star Fox 2 ROM and mine ideas from it. Because there seems to be something from it in every Star Fox game. Boop. Did I pick up a machine gun? Yes, I did. Okay. I will, Falco. Get off my back about it. Why is the camera so high? Uh, Link was going Super Saiyan God mode. That's why he has pink hair. Uh, he wasn't Super Saiyan when I was playing him. He, he, he died a lot when I was playing him. I will! 
I will use my charge. Did I just kill both of them with one shot? I like shot a bolt like through them. It was like poof, poof. Like double kill. Two birds, one stone. Y'all saw it. On its way. What's the situation? They should rework Zero's controls to work on one screen, and people will probably like it more. I mean, you could you could definitely get Zero to work on one screen. Um, I mean, because realistically, like I only play it with one. I never look back and forth. I just hit. You can hit like minus, and it swaps the two screens. So I'm always looking at the TV or always looking at the gamepad, and then I just swap whichever one I want to look at. So it wouldn't be hard to do that. Um, the question is, would they leave in the motion controls, or if people complained about that too much, they would cave. Um, I would rather just make a new one. But, you know, it, it, it there is definitely the potential that that game would sell better on Switch. Okay. Alright, you guys. Die. Die. I think I need to go over here. Yes. Oh, there's a target. Hang on. Ooh, oh, help Crystal. Okay, where is she? Crystal? There they are. Alright, come on back up. Alright, I'm gonna wait for you to come around this way. And... Boop! There we go. Out of my way. I will shoot you with my tank. Where are you? There you are. Boom! Boost right through him. Sure, it hurts the tank, but it's satisfying. Um, oh, why is there one way over there? Hang on. There's one behind me. Where is he? Oh, is he, he is up there. Okay, hang on. Boop. Gotcha. All right. Just plow right through those enemies, Fox. That's fine. I'm trying to... So I, I, if you guys have been watching for a while, I actually let's played this game before Star Fox Zero came out. Uh, with my younger brother and uh so now i have to like actively think about it. i'm like all right don't just make the same like i like i've i still have like the jokes from that playthrough in my head so i i just want to say the same jokes again uh this on foot stuff looks awesome yeah it's, it's good i mean that's the thing people get so obsessed with Star Fox as a rail line shooter that even when you put something else into the game that's good people are like this is different and i'm afraid um, so even this, where, like, the ground stuff is really good and fun and, um, adds a lot of, like, just variety to the game, but people are like, this is different and I'm scared. Alright, I gotta get out of my ship. Go do this. Boop. Boop. Oh dear, there's a lot of them. Hang on, let me switch to machine gun. Eh <laughs> Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Hang on. That's jump. I got this. I know how to play Star Fox. I'm a professional. Die. One up and some health and we're good. Oh, Slippy's in trouble. Let's go help Slippy. Where you at, Slippy? You sure are. Look at all of them. You are a popular frog. How did you miss? I was locked on. Alright. Let's uh, get up here. There we go. Boom. Boy, my lock on is not... Effective. I locked onto the wrong one, Slippy. I'm afraid you'll just have to die. And you're good. Okay. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people were hoping for that. Is there... Oh, no. This one... Oh, I need to go inside the... I need to go inside the base. Which might be another reference to Star Fox 2, or I might just be reaching at this point. Probably reaching. Right, that one, and then there's that one down there. There we go. And then I think there's one in here. Hello. Should be a bunch of. Oh, I'm looking the wrong way. I'm bad at going down elevators. Whoop! I need to get. This. Hang on. Just there we go. There we go. We're good. We're good. Machine gun ammo. Kill that. Kill that. Oh, there's a big one over there. Let's just avoid him. Oh, no, don't leave. Alright, we'll wait for him with the rocket launcher. Uh... 
It's so... What'd you say? It's so annoying. Uh, half the people... No! Yeah, well, this gives me time to read your comment. It's so annoying. Uh, half the people flying in the air don't do anything. And then we have to define... You know, that's just life. That's, that's it's Star Fox is a group project, and you're the one person doing any work. Uh, uh, John, I want to thank you for retweeting SpongeBob the Anime Season Two opening. You're welcome. Uh, it was funny. I enjoyed it. Uh, I I'm trying. I shouldn't read comments and try to fight this guy at the same time. I don't even know why I'm trying to fight him. I don't need to kill him. There's no way I'm surviving silver difficulty when I'm distracted and playing this while talking. It's just hopeless. All right, there's one target, like, way over here. Hang on, let's go get him real quick. While we're not as far away. Oh, he's up there. Get through there. Do -do 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 up we go, and boom! Okay, just go straight across. Um, oh, there's some health on top of that building. Let's go get that real quick. We could use that. We're like half dead. Do, 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 do. What is she even talking about? What what thing are we fighting that I don't... Everything's weak point is that I shoot at it. Oh, this thing? It does have a weak point. It's its, it's, its head. We talked about this when we were streaming Buck Bumble the other day. We talked about this enemy type. Because there's a very similar enemy in Buck Bumble. Would you stop it and turn around? Stop it! Alright, I'm gonna go around you. I'm tired of your shenanigans. There you are. Whoa ho! Whoa ho 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 ho! Calm down. And boom! There's. Okay. And then. There should be one target. There he is. Get him! We did it! There's a new one! Of course there is. Let's go get it. And boss time. Uh, you've probably been asked this before, but what's the best Star Fox game? My favorite Star Fox game is the first one on SNES. Um, the but like objectively the best one from like a game design standpoint is probably either Star Fox 64 if you like the linear Star Fox, or well that's the problem is they're all so different that like it's hard to like. They all kind of try to do different things. But, like, Star Fox 64 is, like, the best as far as just, like, the, the the design. And I think it's one of the best, like, storytelling in-game examples. Because it, like, never cuts to a cutscene. It just tells you the story while you're playing. Um, so it's, like, perfect in that regard. Um, but I think Star Fox 2 is one of the best Super Nintendo games ever made. I love the first Star Fox, just, but that's mostly nostalgia. Like, Star Fox 64 realistically improved on it in pretty much every way. Um, I actually really like this one. Um, I think this, other than not having branching paths, uh, does a lot of cool stuff with, like, every... Why did I do that? Hang on. Um, whoa, don't step on me. Um, other than not having branching paths, this one does so much right. Um, and makes so many improvements. I want to get this little health pocket over here. Hang on. Can I get that while I'm in my tank, or do I have to get out to get that? No, I can get it. Okay. Let's get out of here. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. Come on down. Oh, there's health for the tank over there. Okay. Open! Alright, just gotta keep my bearings, and then we'll go get that health if we get knocked off. Whoop. Or if I just drive off the edge. Either way. Okay, let's just go get... Don't step on me. Don't step on me. Thank you. Whoop. Uh, uh, okay. Did I get it? No, I missed it. There it is. Ah. Whoop. Well, dang it. Awkward time to lose the Landmaster. I guess at least I'm safe while I do this. Do 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 do. All right, did it. Uh, 
Yep, the only one working on a group project. Yep. Um... Star Fox has no brand identity. Uh, the only two that are good in my is the original 64. I know you asked, John, but mine. Um, so, I think it has... So I did a video on this a while back before Star Fox 2 came out, pointing out that I think the brand identity of Star Fox is Star Fox 2. That goes along with what I was saying earlier about how, how I think every Star Fox game has pulled something from that game, which leads me to believe that every developer has been allowed to play that ROM. Um, because if you look at Star Fox 2 as, like, the core gameplay of the entire series, then every other game makes sense, right? Like, every other game design choice in every other one, even Star Fox Adventures, makes sense if you think of Star Fox 2 as, like, the core game of the series. And then, then you get that brand identity. And I think you're right, I think canceling, like, canceling Star Fox 2 has thrown off their brand identity, because you don't recognize that link they all seem so just different and weird and random. Um, it's a weird series. Um, it could use a, a loving hand to guide it. That's the other thing, it's, it's, a, it's one of the only Nintendo series that's very rarely worked on by Nintendo. It, it's always licensed out to other developers, and so there's a ton of difference between each game. Because each developer has their own very unique spin on what makes Star Fox fun. Um, because there's so much difference in all the games. And the farther out in the series you go, like, the more diverse that opinion gets. Curse you, Pigma. Why'd you run to such a vile place? Uh, John, what's your Super Smash Bros. 4 main? Um, I don't know if I'm good with anyone enough to call them my main. I'm probably best with, with Adult Link. Um, or regular Link. I guess it's Adult Link and Toon Link now. Um... But I use Fox, and I use Olimar as well. Um, Olimar is fun. Olimar is a fun character to practice and get good with, because he's so weird. Because um, if you use him right, you can kind of recover from anything. Like, his recovery is insane, but he's not very strong. So it's, it's a lot of dodging and just attacking when you have the chance. Uh, Nintendo should hire you, John, for the next Star Fox. You represent the people. I would... It, it would it would be a, a an incredible, life-changing event to work on a Star Fox game. That would be, you know, Nintendo, if you're watching and you need someone to just tell you, tell you how Star Fox game design works, I'm here for you. I've bridged the gap. I... I understand the entire franchise, and uh, I'm ready. I've even read the Nintendo Power comics. I am up to date on on Star Fox canon and non-canon, so I'm ready. Uh, all of the of all the Nintendo IPs, I think Star Fox would make a great film, right? Like the Star Fox Battle Begins little cartoon they did before um, Star Fox Zero came out was fantastic, and it would make like it has such like developed characters. Um, it would make a fantastic like like movie or like kids show or something like that. Like it'd be in fact like a kids show would be perfect because you could do like a mission every episode. Um, and it's very serialized because it's kind of formatted after, like, a cheesy Saturday morning serial anyway. Um, yeah, it would be a fantastic movie or, or TV show. This I agree Fox. completely. I made it inside. How are things on your end, Slippy? I made it too! Okay, let's get this operation started. Uh, you mean Roy. Good. Falco, look. There. That's a ship. Uh, why you have few subscribers, your channel is really good. Well, thank you! Um, you can help fix that little problem by sharing the videos and subscribing and all that stuff. Um, yeah, but, but thank you, I appreciate that. Whoa. Granted, these, these live streams are probably the least popular thing we do. Um... Like, of all the video stuff that we do here, like, these are the ones that get, you know, a hundred views or something low like that. But, um, but I just find them fun, so I like to do them. They always get demonetized anyway, so they're totally pointless, but they are fun. Uh, and I enjoy interacting with you guys, so. Keeps me sane. And especially now as, as site director, I think I will need the, 
the comforting sanity of these live streams. Uh, okay, I should use a charge shot on this. Um, this is a really cool... So this is a, a really cool mechanic that this game has where they'll put you in a ground mission um, and give you objectives like targets to hunt down, like, like in the Katina level. Um, but then outside of this mission, like out there in space, like right out there, like Falco's out there flying around, they're fighting off ships. And so if they get overwhelmed out there, then I lose. So that bar in the top left, if it gets, get too, gets too high, I have to go out into space and help them fight out the enemy, fight off the enemy there before I can go back and fight off this enemy. Um, and it's a really cool mechanic. Um, and it's awesome because like that's all just one unified environment. There are even some of these transfer devices you can actually blow up from outside. Like if you shoot a bomb, like if like I probably could have done this one. If you were to shoot a bomb at this window, you could blow up this transfer device because it's all one seamless environment, um, which is awesome. Um, is that transfer device right down? No, it's it's up. It's up higher. Okay. Oh, that's the different difficulties they put the like the targets in different places for the different difficulties. So it takes me a second. Whoop. All right. And you can even see, like, when Falca does blow up a ship, like, you can see it go away on the, uh... Or you can see that bar go back down a little ways. It's gonna help Slippy out here. Clear this out so that we have that. Did I already get those? Yes, I did. Okay. Back up we go. Grab this sniper rifle. Wait, 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 wait. Get that one. Yay! Okay, there's one up there. Let's go get that one. Get out of the way of this. Blow it up. Uh, okay, actually, is there one about here? No, there's not one out here. Okay. I don't really need that, so let's... Oh, I was going to try to dodge it in case I needed it later, but... I guess we'll just run into it. That's fine. Do I have grenades? Yes, I do. I guess I... I should have done that before I blew up this transfer device, but plus I missed everyone. But it's the thought that counts. The Nintendo license for YouTube is idiotic and abusive. Uh, I, I, I tend to agree. Um, it seems like they don't really understand the platform. Um, but that's that's why we don't um, like we're not part of the Nintendo. Uh, partners pro what, what do they call it um, the ambassador program um, because essentially in that program ultimately the way your paycheck works is you wind up getting paid by Nintendo to make content about Nintendo which as like as a news site which is what we consider ourselves first and foremost um, is kind of uh, shady so we don't do that but on the bright side if you are part of that program Nintendo doesn't allow you to live stream so what's this live stream which is awesome. Um, oh, I need to... Okay, so yeah, the bar has gone up a bit. Probably a couple cruisers warped in. So, we're going to go back out. There's no fall damage in this game, which is always fun. I like games without fall damage. Fall damage is only there to make a game less fun. But no fall damage lets you climb up really high and then jump off of stuff. Which, I mean, that's, that's just fun in games. Do a loop, whoops. But I'm all out of energy to do my loop. Enemy reinforcements confirmed. I'm returning their fire. Okay, I need to blow this guy up actually really fast. I need to just do a loop around this missile, but I think I'll just let it chase me around indefinitely. Do, 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 do the loop. Never mind, still hit me, okay. I need a laser power up. These ships are hard to blow up without it. There we go. That that helped a lot. Okay, let's go get another one of those big cruisers. Just to get this bar down, and then we can clear up the little guys. Alright. You've improved your skills, Fox. 
Uh, if you could choose any Nintendo IP for remaster, what would it be? Um, if it's just a remaster... Wait, IP? Like, like remaster the entire series? Um, I mean, if it was one game... I know I sound like a broken record, but the original Star Fox. Um, let's think of some other ones. What would be another good... Uh, if you're talking about, like, I mean, if you do, like, sequels, then I think Custom Robo should get one. Um, where are all the... Oh, there's a there's a twin laser power-up along the top of this. Hang on. Hang on. It's in here. Okay. Let's go blow up this guy. Am I hitting it? I can't tell. I think I hit it. I hit it a couple times. I don't think I hit it nearly as many times as I shot at it, but that's okay. Boop, 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 boop. Endless Ocean. That game, that would be a cool game to see, like, an HD version of. Because it's a very, just, like, pretty game, you know? Do, 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 do. All right. So that's, now the space front is a bit more under control. Uh, now we can go back inside. Now, there aren't any... Let me check for transfer devices right around the edge of the station. I don't think... Ah! I don't think there are any in this. No. Sometimes there's one in that hallway. Um, I could probably get some of the ones on top. But, you know what? It's not worth it. Let's just, let's just go back inside. That's the smart thing to do. Do, 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 do. Oh, make the turn. Oh, I went too low. Or I went too high. And there we go. Okay, back in we go. Do you see a new Nintendo Switch? Smaller, more powerful, better battery life coming anytime soon. I could see that sometime, like, next year. I don't think this... I think this year is too soon. Um, but, like, next year I could definitely see, like, a, a hardware iteration. I think we'll see a few of those with the Switch. Um, I think the Switch will be, tr in that respect, might be treated a lot more like um, the like a, a DS or a 3DS. Um, but uh, whoops! Yeah, thanks for that warning. Now, Peppy. Now that I've ow already been hit by them, I just need to look where I'm going. Dodge the lasers. There we go. Dodge the missiles, shoot the dudes. Dodge more missiles, shoot that dude. Looks like the other are All right, where's the... Ooh, you stop that. Uh, where is that elevator of which they spoke? There it is. Away! I want the machine. Where's the door? There it is. It was nice of them to not shoot at me until I looked over here at them. I know. Whoop. Sweet, I actually hit it. Boop. Boop. What are you guys talking about? I thought a game, Super Mario Classic, a remake of Super Mario 1 through 3 and World in one game like Crash on PS4 where you could have the option to play with original graphics or reimagined HD graphics. That would be cool. Uh, even though the franchise has too many remakes already, Zelda 1 and 2 remakes are deserving. Zelda 2 especially, I think. Um, I mean both of them, but... But Zelda 2 is such an underrated game as it is that I think a, a Zelda 2 should get the the Metroid Samus Returns treatment. I think that would be cool. I mean, you could even give it to Mercury Steam. Like, just give it to that developer. Hello. Um, actually, this is a place for a grenade. Maybe if I can cycle through to get to it. Let's do two of them. How did I not blow up both the big robots with that grenade? Oh, 
Boop. Boot. Oh, there's a one-up. And now, everyone's favorite character shows up. You fools. What are you idiots up to now? Boss, you're here! That new wolf? You're on my turf now. Watch your step, Fox. <laughs> I think I'll torment you a bit before I cook you. Star Fox Assault HD would be dope. Allow me to introduce myself. Dope indeed. I am Hamper, and I'll only see my rose will be death. We're just here for Pigma, okay? Shut your traps and hand him over. Pigma? Don't know anything about Pigma. But there is one thing. I'm owed an apology. And I will have it. Ugh. It spawned me back in getting beat up by this robot. Ah, stop it. <laughs> I'm trying to adjust the volume on the stream. Um, yeah, Star Fox Assault HD, I'd be down for that. I mean, I always thought, I think it's it's kind of a shame. Oh, there's a secret up here. Hang on. Boop, boop, boop. Secret. Yay. Um, let's, what was I saying? Oh, um... I always thought it was kind of a shame, like, Rare Replay, since, you know, Star Fox isn't a Rare-owned character, they weren't able to put Star Fox Adventures on Rare Replay, but man, that game looks good. Like, if you pop that on an emulator and run it in HD, it is a beautiful game. Um, I mean, whether you like the game or not, it is graphically just gorgeous. Um, so that would be cool. Leave Crystal alone! Here we go. Alright, Panther. Start with you. I will say, this this wolf fight... Um, I like Wolf's character in this game. Like, how they characterize him. But the AI for the wolf fight here is is not good. Um, actually, I think my, my favorite wolf fight is the... Spoiler alert. End of Star Fox Zero. Um, when you're on, like, the tiny... Venom asteroid thing, whatever it is, um, in front of the gateway. And so it's essentially like a Mario Galaxy setup, like this tiny planetoid with all these trenches in it. And you're chasing Wolf and his team like through the trenches and up over the planet. And they're like transforming into walkers and you can transform into walkers. It's got kind of like a Death Star trench run to it at times. It is so cool and makes such good, because there's so much like looking around corners and stuff with the, with the gamepad and it's very fast paced. Um, it's so good. That one level is like, it just sums up the entire control scheme of that game. Uh, cause it's so good. Uh, it's like one, I think it's one of the most in like exciting boss fights I've ever played in a game. I absolutely love it. Die Panther. Whoop. All right, where'd you go? I like how they put character health out on the asteroids. As if that's remotely helpful. Like, that's not, that's not what I need, game. Boop, where'd, where'd Panther go? I was almost done with him. There we go. There we go. Alright, Leon, we have to save Wolf for last. That's how it works. Oh, Wolf, get off my tail. Get off my tail. Is Valko in trouble? Get, get, Wolf. Leave me alone. Thank you. Trying to help Valka. But where are you going? I'm trying to catch up with you. Slow down. There we go. Boop, 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 boop. All right, now, Leon. There we go, and... Come here, wolf. Ugh. Just came flying through that explosion at me. Whoop. Where are you? There you are. Oh, so many barrel rolls. He's so agile. So nimble. Where are you? Get behind you real quick. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. 
It's gonna be great. Do 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 do. Wait for it. There he is. Boom! You're dead. Uh, let's see. Oh, so many comments. Um, Star Wolf music is fantastic. Yes, it is. Uh, Wolf looks awesome in it. Yeah, Wolf's character in Assault is perfect. Like, they nailed Wolf in Assault. This is my favorite version of him. They didn't make him, like, in Star Fox 64, he's kind of, like, he's very, like, I'm Wolf, and I'm vaguely British, and blah, blah, blah. But, like, in this, they just make him much cooler. He's a bit Shadow the Hedgehog-esque, but, uh, but he's just a cooler character in this. Quiet bird. What was that? Break up the game audio. Forget him. Look, just tell us where Pygma is. How can I resist this beauty? I believe the comm record will point you toward the China. You talk too much. Panther, Leon, let's go. Remember this, Fox. Star Wolf will take you down one day. Um. Let's see. Oh, a Zero Mission style remake of Zelda 2. That would be cool. All ships are home. You don't want a counter system. I, huh? I think a counter system in Star Fox 2, or in Star Fox 2, in, in Zelda 2 would be pretty, like, a perfect fit for that game. But sure. Um, can you list your favorite games for each Nintendo console that isn't Star Fox? So that is, we did this in the last stream, but you didn't say not Star Fox. So that does make it a much harder uh, thing. Okay, so every Nintendo console... All right, let's see. So, um, NES, still Super Mario Bros. 3. Um, Super Nintendo, then, would be... It'd be like Super Mario World, or Mario Kart, or maybe Aladdin? Aladdin's really good. I'm not sure. Um, N64 would probably be Majora's Mask. I'm trying to think of what GameCube would be. Could he be it, it'd probably be Mario Sunshine, I think. Yeah. We would still be Xenoblade. Wii U would be Xenoblade 2. Um, Switch is either Zelda or Xenoblade. Game Boy is still X, because that's not a Star Fox game, it's just made by the same developer. Um, game Boy Color um, would still be Mario Tennis, I think. DS would probably be Mario Kart, or Metroid Prime Hunters, one of the two. Um, 3DS would be maybe Kid Icarus Uprising, I think. Metro Prime Federation Force would be up there, to be honest. But uh, I think that's everything. Yeah, I guess you're right. No time for subtlety. I'm gonna have to blow up the generators. Don't go overboard, Fox. It's under control. Then get going and do it. Um, wheels here. Careful what you wish for, Falco. Let's see. You should have a video section on the NWO website. So there is a video tab on the NWO website, and you were in NSA. You came to our our me and Neil's discussion earlier today. For those of you who didn't, um, on Friday I became the site director of NWR. Neil moved to reviews editor slash owner. Um, so we were just chatting um, this afternoon about kind of the future of the site and things you want to do with it. And um, let me turn that up just a little bit. Um, let's see. So, um, so yeah, one of the things we want to do is have our video content more conveniently integrated with the site. Um, like, allow you to see, like, the thumbnails and all that as you just kind of scroll through, like, videos. 
um, essentially allow you to browse our YouTube channel, but on our site more conveniently. Um, so we've, we've been talking about redesigning the site to kind of accommodate that. Because um, right now there is a video section. Um, you can click it, but it doesn't show like everything we post. Um, it's just like select stuff. We have to make individual articles for all those videos. Um, so I think what we were looking for is more something that would kind of auto-populate. When you make a video, it just shows up in a section of the site that you can view. Um, because, um, A, it's just convenient to have everyone in the same place, right? To not have the, the viewership spread out. Um, but also because since we do cover Nintendo, and both Nintendo and YouTube have been in a bit of a state recently as far as like demonetizing stuff, um, makes it a lot harder to make money off of our videos to support the website. Uh, and so by having that stuff on our main website, where we can control, like, like even if a video gets demonetized, the website still has some ad placement on it. So it's just, uh, it's more, it makes more financial sense to have that stuff easily accessible from the site. Um, so yes, that is something we want to work on. Um, during the stream this morning, Neil mentioned, uh, our, the site's 20th anniversary is next year in March, I believe. Um, so our goal is to, for the 20th anniversary next year, have a revision of the site done. Don't know if we'll do that. I don't, or I don't, I know we'll do that, but I don't know if we'll hit that, that time frame exactly. Um, but that's our goal right now is to, we're kind of in like the early conceptual phases right now of what we want, how it could look, all that stuff. Um, and hopefully by 2019 for the 20th anniversary of the site, uh, we will have that redesign done. Because I think the website as it is now is is functional, but it does show its age. Um, that's one of the things about the site being around for so long, is that there are definitely elements of it that reek of 1999, um, which is not, you know, the internet moves fast, and you kind of have to keep up with it. Um, so, so there are a lot of little things we'd like to adjust uh, in the in the next year or two. So we'll be working on that. But I'll keep you guys updated as we get going on all that stuff. Uh, let's see. What are your thoughts on Nintendo Labo? I think it looks fun. Um, I I think I want the robot one. Um, I kind of want both of them. Um, but mostly, like, I have a bunch of, like, nephews and nieces, and I think it would be just a fun activity. Like, I, I can see them loving it. So I'm excited to, like, get it for a bunch of them. Um, like, for the holidays, maybe. Um... Assuming they don't already get it. And uh, and then, like, you know, if, you know, when they're in town for, like, the holidays, put that stuff together with them. I think that would be fun. Um, I think it looks like a great kid's toy. They learn about kind of, like, the engineering of all of it, which is good. It's kind of like an educational tool, too, so that's wonderful. Um, I think it looks fun. I, I don't have an issue with it. I'm not taking too long, Falco. I'm just, I'm telling a story. I'm talking. All right. Yeah, I'm going to get out of here because these guys are blowing me up. Whoop, get up there. There we go. Kind of ramped over that. Hey, John, could you switch to Star Fox 64? No, I'm playing Star Fox Assault. I made the thumbnail on Earthang. This is what I'm playing. Plus, I'd have to, like, hook up the N64. It is sitting right there. But still, I'd have to, like, switch to a different... Um, right? I'd, I'd have to get out, like, the RCA to HDMI converter. It would be a whole thing. It would be a whole thing. Uh... This should be it. Let's see. What about doing a phone app for the site? That would be cool. Um, I don't think we have anyone on staff that's really... Um, that's that specializes in that area. We do have... I mean, we finally have a mobile version of the site, and something we'd probably do in the redesign is build it much more around like a mobile-friendly approach. Um, but, uh, but, I mean, an app would be awesome. That'd be sweet. And being able to like have all the YouTube videos and articles there, that would be awesome. I don't know how realistic it is, but it's definitely something that's worth... I mean, it's a good idea. It's something that's worth looking at. Uh, Super Mario RPG would be a great remaster in HD. Yeah, that would be cool. Would it still be sprite-based, or would you actually get like the 3D graphics that they were trying to represent? Or would it look like the Final Fantasy VII remake? That would be great. That would be hilarious. Come on down, guys. Boop. Why in the world would those sentry bots attack? 
You guys like the f you like the phone app idea. To look into that. I have no idea what goes into that. I don't know how hard it is. I mean, it would have to be free. Like we couldn't, you know, I don't, I don't think anybody would pay anything for it. Um, would it bother you if there were ads on it, or would you not want ads? Because I, I feel like financially, the only way it makes sense to do it is if there's some some ad revenue on it. Um, but I don't know. Would ads bother you? Like if it was just like a banner at the top. Problem with ads is then you have to be connected to the internet. Um, and so the it's always drawing, you know, bandwidth. It would be cool to just do something simple that would be legitimately free with no ads. That would be awesome. Um, and, you know, kind of out of the ordinary. But that would be cool. I don't know how, how hard that would be to do. Do any of you guys make phone apps? Is that a thing the chillins do these days? I don't know if you're chillins. You might be older than me. Who knows? Uh... If you Kickstarter it, you can pay someone to make it. Yeah, I don't think we would need to, though. I think it's that's a simple enough thing. I mean, you're essentially just... You need an app that just ties into our RSS feed and our YouTube feed. Um, though if we can implement the YouTube videos into our RSS feed in the reworking of the site, then you could realistically essentially just have the RSS feed would be all you would need and then just pretty it up. So I think it would... I don't know much about this, but I think that would be a pretty simple app. I'm not sure. Maybe someone knows. Uh, you guys don't care about ads as long as it's free. Okay. Yeah, I think it would be awesome to have it be free and have no ads. But I don't know, like, how... Uh, how expensive it is just to develop the, the app. But that's an idea. We'll look at that. We'll, we'll investigate further. Boop, boop, boop. I like this is another cool gameplay mechanic this game has that like no other start. It's like a weird twist on the rail line shooter. Like the ship's automatically moving and you just have to aim. But it's cool. It's unique. It's different. I like it. Boop, boop. You get, oh, there's there's more guys. I was gonna say if you if you're careful about shooting the guys on the ground, you can keep like a combo going through this entire thing. Boop 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 boop. Someone on the ground's locked onto us. Uh, let's. What did you say? Is Switch Star Fox RPG? That would be weird. Uh, is Switch online service this year or oh oh i can't hang on I'll, I'll read that comment after this mission uh it's a switch online service gonna be per month or year either way i think um, but I think even for a year, they were saying it's only going to be like 20 or 25 bucks. So it's very cheap compared to the other online services, from what we can tell. Um, See, so yeah, I don't think it'll be too bad. Boop, 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 boop. No, no, I missed it. Ah! Okay, we're good, we're good. Everything's fine. Oh, no, there's another one. Okay. Everything's fine. It was a false alarm. We're good. Whoop. Missiles. I already got him. Don't you worry about it. Whoop, there's another thing in Bob. Where is he? There he is. Hi, friends. Allow me to shoot you with my cannon. Are we done? Nope, there's more. Fox, these guys are all over me. Get rid of them. Whoop. Now are we done? I think we're done. I think that's everything. All uh, right. Oh, that's not. A, I was reading comments and then like a bunch of bad guys showed up. Oh, I messed it up. Hang on, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're gonna save it. Here we go. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Unstoppable. Way to go. 
Boop. 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 Okay, now we're done. Right? Yes, we are. Okay. Uh, this was my first Star Fox, game, Star Fox game back when I was seven. And out of all of them to date, this is my favorite so far. This is a really good game. Um, the people I know who have actually played this game really seem to like it. Uh, a phone app should be a priority because there isn't any Nintendo News apps, but there are a million Nintendo News websites. I don't know. I'm sure there's something out there, but you're right. It's it's definitely a less populated um, market, I guess. Um, three or four dollars for a month. Okay. I did hear about the false ballistic missile alert in Hawaii. Yeah, that's... I, I don't know who falls asleep on that button. Uh... I know the biggest complaint about this game is the third-person shooting, but I love that aspect of this game. Yeah, it's people complain because it's different. It works fine. Like it's a, it's a great part of the game. People are just it's not Star Fox and a ship flying in a straight line, so people are scared of it. Okay, back into my ship we go. Uh oh, they take I forget that they take away my um my lasers between like every thing um that's not a laser power up that's not a laser power up that's not a laser power up uh, is that one that's one okay i want that boop 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 oh i don't have any bombs i need to get bombs i blow these guys up to get bombs and then i shoot those into its head. Okay. Fill up on bombs. Boop. Whoop, missed. Boop. There we go. Is it? Already? I just shot it. Oh, it is open. Whoop! Oh, I missed it. Did I get it? I think I got it anyway. That was not a, not a beautiful attack. It's kind of sloppy. Nope, didn't didn't work that time. Eh, uh, okay, we gotta wait for it to. Oh, there it goes. Boom. Yes. One more hit. Well, I'm not ready for the hatch to be open. Come over here. Stop turning the hatch away from me. I'm trying to shoot at you. Huh. Nope. That do it? Yes, that did it. Okay. Yay. Uh why does the camera always zoom in when John takes a sip of delicious Mountain Dew soda pop? Uh it's a sponsorship. Uh no, that's Cambot. Cambot makes a lot of interesting decisions. I wonder if I can get him to do it if I just Mm-hmm. He really does. He's like, let me get in, let me get in tight on that. Come down here, Cambot. There we go. Um, yeah, Cambot's interesting. For those of you who watched me and Neil's conversation, Cambot was in top form this morning, or this afternoon. He was going all over the place. Would not keep me in frame. I think Cam got, Cambot got a little money slipped under the door from PepsiCo. I wish Cambot would share some of the money that he's getting with me. Uh-oh. Pigma's been taken over by the Aperoids. Was that? Was I just talking to my sleep? No! I won't turn a profit by obeying them! I, I, I... Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Pigma is turning to the dark side. Okay. Oh, I didn't get the silver medal for that one. Oh well. I did find a secret though, so that's good. There's like 15 million of those flags in this game. They're the Korok seeds of this game. That's my favorite Rob animation, is when he tries to raise the roof. I love it. Is this like an amusement park to a former gang member? You know it. 
I do like these briefing scenes. They're a cool play on like the N64 briefing scenes where you just got two guys in a box, but they're like more animated. It's nice. It's it's like an inexpensive cutscene, um, but you don't just feel like you're looking at talking heads, you know? It's not like a Fire Emblem thing where you just get like character portraits. Like it still feels like a, a cutscene, but it's, you know, just it's quick. I'm sure it's less expensive to produce. This is a fun level, because this is just like a straight up, like, I mean, if you like classic Star Fox levels, where you just fly in a line, uh, this is the level for you. I um, mean, it is fun. I like it a lot. And you? Whoops. I ran into a rock. Whoop. And you? And you? And you? Oh, you don't you don't blow up it. You just fly by me. There we go. I have a bomb. Blow up. Blow up. There we go. I feel like I should be able to time that perfect and blow all of them up. But I don't think I actually can. Ooh, a flag! Whoop! 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 Get off of my ship. John, what do you think Mario Kart Tour is going to be like? Um, hopefully just like a very simple racing game. Um, I don't, I'm trying to, I was trying to think the other night of like where they would incorporate, um, like the, cause obviously it'll be like a free app, um, but then you can pay to get something, right? Um, or they could do it like Mario Run and give you like one Grand Prix for free, and then you can get the other ones to, by paying money. Um, but I also don't know how much, like that comes off as like a very straight up Mario Kart setup, right? Um, which traditionally hasn't been what they've been doing with their mobile games. It's they try to keep them very different from um, how they would be set up as a normal game. So we'll have to wait and see. Because when you think about it, I mean, it, you kind of just assume like, oh, it'll use it'll it'll use tilt controls. Um, but uh, but who knows if that's actually how it'll be. Maybe it's not even a game about racing. Maybe you just design cars and they race automatically and you share your cars with your friends. Who knows? Maybe since it's called Mario Kart Tour, you're just a touring manager who sets up uh, press engagements for a driver. Who knows? It could be anything. Ow. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. John, have you considered in Japan Independence Day? The movie was released December 7, 1996, while Star Fox 64 was released April 27, 1997. It's a short time to make that one reference level. That's true. I was wondering, like, when I started reading that comment, I was like, where's he going with this about Independence Day? That is, yeah. Did you ever beat that level by just flying directly into the, into the core? Because I definitely did. Ooh, I'm I'm low on health. Okay, I did not kill that guy, but that's okay. There's health right there. Whoops. Right, don't miss the health. There we go. Okay. Always good advice, Peppy. You are on it. Car, he warns me about the stationary wall, but these arms he doesn't say anything about. 
They are much more of a threat than that stationary wall was. Ouch. How did I manage to hit that? Alright. Get the uh, health. Don't manage to fly around it. There we go. And boss time. Ooh, my wing's a little, a little damaged. I might lose a wing. Uh... The word tour makes me think that you'll have to travel around the world. That's that's true. Um, with Mario Kart Tour, the controls could be like this. I have a stick in the bottom right, movement accelerate automatically. I have the item button on the bottom left, break. That's true. You could probably do it like either way. That's even if you race in the game. Yeah. Um, I hope you do and can play locally and online with friends and strangers. I, I agree. If they, if they just make a simple racing game... Um, I'd be down for that. And I do kind of hope they do it, like, I would rather they do it like Mario Run, where they just let you buy the game. I hate microtransactions in games, even if the games are free to play. I would rather you just be like, look, five bucks, you get the whole game. And I'll be like, cool, here's five bucks. Like, that's, that's, that's the kind of transaction I like to be engaged in. Not this, like, well, I mean, you could wait a day, or... Give us a dollar. I don't like them trying to like lure me into spending tiny amounts of money over and over again. I'd rather just buy the game. No, I'm not ready. All right, charge up. Wait for him to do a thing. He's gonna grab an asteroid or shoot at me or something. There we go. Boop, 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 boop. Shoot the arm. Shoot this arm. There we go, there we go, yeah! Whoa, watch out for the asteroid! Watch out for the other asteroid! Watch out for that asteroid! Everybody has an asteroid. It's an asteroid party today! A day full of asteroid tossing. That is the national pastime of, of the Pigma robots. Whoa, 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 whoa! That one has a machine gun. That everyone, calm down. That arm has a machine gun. All right, what? Careful with your asteroids. You could hurt somebody. Oh, get that! Yes. Die! Yay! Hello, Pigma. Open up. Open up. Is it a is it pig based? Is it a primarily pork based force that you're sensing? Die. Shooting it is working. Who to thunk it? Whoop. All right, wait for it. Wait for it. Get a few quick shots in while he's doing it. Oh, I don't have any bombs. That's too bad. I was gonna shoot him with the bombs. There we go. We got him. And we didn't lose the wing. Uh, let's see. I'm not expecting a full console Mario Kart, but it can still be Mario Kart. I agree with you. Uh, hello boys. I'm back. Yes. Uh, so in the Japanese version of that, is there, like, a, a Japanese actor doing an impersonation of Randy Quaid saying that line? Because that's a, that's a fun thing to think about. I just hope it's like Mario Run and doesn't have, like, a turn system that you literally need to wait for years to recharge. I agree. Yeah, I'd just like to be able to buy it. Look at how good I done. I got, like, three flags. I got the medal. I did great on that level. Yay. Feel accomplished. Oh, cussing. We've retrieved the core memory. It should reveal the location of their home world, right? That's right, Fox. Indeed, the time to face the Aperoid Queen has come. Uh -huh. The source of all Aperoid will, the Queen herself, makes her vile nest on their home planet. As long as the Queen exists, the Aperoids will continue to multiply. Understood. We're on our way. Fox. Hmm? I'm sensing a distress call from Planet Saria. Saria? From Tricky? I'm not sure. But I sense cries of agony.
Um, so I just thought when you were listing off items, what if in Mario Kart Tour, um, you have to, like, they give you a certain number of items per day, but then to get more items, you have to pay or wait. So you can still race, but you won't have any items. Maybe that's how they'll do it. This must be how they uh, the, the game controller is so loud you don't realize it until you see somebody play a game that requires a ton of buttons. Yeah, it's... Well, and to be fair, like, my old... Um, like, I'm using my, like, old GameCube controller from my system that I've had forever. It's a little clicky these days, I've noticed. More so than before. But yeah, it was always a clicky controller. Uh, just the classic items. Nothing that'll be too complicated since it's a mobile title. Yeah. Liberate Star. All right, so this is we are back. We're on Dinosaur Planet from Star Fox Adventures. We're gonna save Tricky. Um, and this is a cool. I like that this level acknowledges that Star Fox Adventures exists. Like they, they were like, "Yup, that game was weird and different, but we it still happened." Um, and so they they work it in. And you get to see some cool, you know interpretations of areas from Star Fox Adventures, which I think is cool. And that's that's the thing, is like in, in this, and in Star Fox Command, and Star Fox Adventures, like they were building up this like regular cast of characters and really like kind of taking the story and plot line somewhere. And then they just kind of like stopped and, you know, Star Fox Zero, which I, I like, but it just kind of went back to the beginning. Um, and doesn't seem to like a race cannon, like it still fits in with the rest of the games, just kind of replaces Star Fox 64, which already replaced Star Fox, like, they love retelling that origin story, and I wish they would stop. Get out of here, Goma Egg. Okay. Uh, let's see, I want to go, should I go through this door? Is there anything down here? What's down here? Let's see. Let's, let's go on an adventure. There's a Gatling gun down here. Do I have a machine gun yet? Yes, I do. Yay. Alright. Doesn't look like there was anything down there. Alright, I should go get the tank. And, uh... Take out some hatchers. There should be one, like, right here. Is it... Is there a cave? Oh, it's right... It's in there. Okay, so there's definitely a cave. Did I miss one in here, then? Because that... That sure seems like it's in the cave I was just in. There was another way to go back here, I think. Where I could have gone up. Yup, 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 yup. That's it. That's the way to go. Oh no! Oh, we need to- we are far from... everything. Let's get back to our... uh, ship. We'll save Slipper. Excuse me. Excuse me. Ow. Alright, where is he? There he is. Ouch. Ouch. They immediately, like, as soon as I took off, they were like, that one. Kill him. Did I not save Slippy? Is there still somebody behind him? Why are you doing that, Fox? Are you safe? Oh, there is still a guy behind you. There we go. Okay. I am aware, Peppy. You just calm down. Alright, take out that guy. What? Jeez. These guys are very aggressive. Just right up on your butt. And they spawn so fast. I know, they're just constantly there. It's a real problem in my life right now. There we go. Okay, uh, so there, it looks like there's some hatchers over here. So let's just land over here. Actually, I should get the tank. I should land by the tank and use the tank. Let's do that. Um, but this idea, like, the idea of, like, flying around, landing, and having a tank is pretty much Star Fox 2, right? I mean, that's... You don't transform, because they, they just use the Landmaster in this one. But it's that same mechanic. It's on the ceiling. There we go. All right. So there should be one right over here somewhere. That's right. Let's pull up this tree. Where is it? There it is. I can see it. So many trees. 
It's so hard to see. There we go. Um, and then there, I think there's a bunch up in this temple. Uh, I don't have... What are you guys talking about? I keep getting distracted. I'm just playing Star Fox. I'm not even paying attention to what you guys are saying over there. Okay. Oh, I'm not really available right now. I'm busy. Oh, I actually hit one, which is like a free shot. Hang on. Hang on. Du -du -du -du. And where are you? That one? Yes, this one. Whoop. Just, just stop flying. So there we go. All right, kill that and that. Uh, let's see. I'm really looking forward to aces. I'm, ha I'm mildly interested in aces. I wouldn't say I'm like actively excited for it, but I'm definitely, I am excited to learn more about it. I don't know if I'll go all in on it yet, but um, but I'm interested to learn more. They have my attention say that. Where is this one? Is there a cave under here? Do do do. Oh, here we go. Right? Is it this? Maybe? No, this is where I just was. Ah, oh, there's so many eggs right there. Jeez. So where... How... Why, when, what? Oh, here we go, here we go. Hello, everyone. You must die. Oop. I am in slight danger. Let me get this health real quick here. There we go. There we go. Um, oh, you guys are talking about, like, ports on Switch. Um, even as somebody who had, uh, or who has a Wii U, um, I don't mind the ports, like, because there's enough other stuff coming out that even if it's a port that I'm not, like, like, Pokémon Tournament, I wasn't, like, I have that on Wii U, I don't really have the desire to get it again on Switch. Um, but, uh... But there's enough other stuff coming out on the system now that it, like, if... It, I can skip a game, and that's okay. Like, the Wii U, there was so little coming out that I bought a lot of stuff I wouldn't normally have bought. Which, in one respect, is kind of cool. Like, it, it... I definitely played some games I wouldn't have otherwise. Um, like, I mean, Paper Mario, or Shin Megami Ten Or not Shin Megami Tensei, um... Tokyo Mirage Sessions. There were games like that that I normally would have just passed on because the Wii U library was so limited, I wound up playing them. Which is, I mean, it was a... A good way to experience games that I wouldn't have otherwise. Um, but now they're getting all these re-releases, I can kind of... There are some of them that I'll pick up again, um, like Tropical Freeze I'll get again. Hyrule Warriors, I think I'll skip Hyrule Warriors. Maybe I'll get it used at some point. Um, but I just, you know, I, I played that on Wii U and then I played it again on 3DS. Oh boy, I'm very low on health. I'm very low on health. Okay, I need to be very... How is it? Why? How did you spawn another one of you so fast? Is there a... Ha oh, there is a hatcher just right there. No, there's not. I'm... I'm. Free. Why did I come in here? Something here and now I'm almost dead. Alright, I have to be very careful. I need health badly. This is slippy. We've discovered new oh, no! Alright, oh, there's a bunch of guys. Maybe I should get the Landmaster. I should probably get the Landmaster and come back. Because this is not going to be good on foot. You look for health. Uh, John, you should buy Pokémon Tournament on Switch so you can play it in a stream with fans. Do you guys all have... I mean, do you guys have Pokémon Tournament? Is that a game that you guys are playing? Um, because, like, I enjoyed it on Wii U, but it just wasn't one that I was like, oh, I need to get that again. Like, I need to, I need to play more of that. Like, it just wasn't, you know, that kind of game for me. Whoa. Still a bunch of those guys in there. Grab this, and let's get out of here. We're a bit safer now. I still have. I need, still need to find some health pickups for Fox, but uh, but we're at least safer now that we're in the Landmaster. Is that a health pickup up there? I think it is. Yeah. Oh, it's a golden one. It's a majestic, mighty health pickup. Whoops. Hang on. Wait for that to recharge. Oh, I need to. I need to blow up some stuff in the sky. 
There, I, I got that one. Um, hang on. Going to the R-Wing. Whoop. Ooh, laser power out. Sweetness. There's another one! Oh, we're just rolling in laser power-ups. Boop, 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 boop. Get off my butt. Well, don't, don't fly directly in front of me. It's, it's dangerous. I just shoot at everything. Okay, so then the last... Can I just hit the last uh, transfer device from up here? Because I think it's just like down in this valley, isn't it? Maybe it's not. Where is it? It should just be right down there. I can't see it. I'll go get the tank. Hang on. But thanks for spawning right next to my landing zone, guys. Uh, if it was Hyrule Warriors or Fire Emblem Warriors, I would probably just get the one released first, so Fire Emblem. Well, but Hyrule Warriors came out first. I do think if I had to choose between just those two, I would still take Hyrule Warriors. I, I have Fire Emblem Warriors, but I don't like it nearly as much. I think it just comes down to not liking that franchise as much. Um, but I also like the boss fights in Hyrule Warriors, which aren't really there. Like, the giant boss fights aren't really present in... Um, Fire Emblem Warriors, and I think they just did, they did more interesting things with the characters and the plot in, in Hyrule Warriors than they did in Fire Emblem. Um, I could see if, if I was more into the Fire Emblem franchise, then I would probably like Fire Emblem Warriors a lot more. But as it is, I would definitely take, uh, uh, Hyrule Warriors more. Does the Switch have some sort of download play? No, it doesn't, unfortunately. Uh... I don't have it on Switch, I hate fighting games. Uh, that's... that's fair. I just can't get... like, I'll get one for cheap, but like, I, I have trouble justifying, justifying paying 60 bucks for a fighting game, because I never play them for that long, I always get bored. Looks like oh, cutscene. All the Aperoids have been wiped out. Sauria should be safe for a long time to come. Tricky! Fox! Crystal! I knew you'd come! Thank you so much! Tricky! So heavy! Ouch! <laughs> so, Fox, you're here to fight him, right? Well, I'm going with you! Oh, uh, I appreciate it. But you're needed here, old pal. Besides, I'm leaving Saria in your care. Remember, you're the leader here now, Tricky. I'll do it! Yeah. yeah, yeah! I'll take care of things here so you two can come back on your honeymoon! What? What are you, nuts? We aren't... we're not yet... Uh... Not yet? Uh... I mean... I mean... <laughs> this isn't a conversation for children! You said you weren't gonna treat me like a kid anymore! Then stop acting like one! You're just mad because you don't want to talk about it! All right. That's enough, boys. Ha 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 The banter, the hilarity, and such. Uh... Yuka, yeah, Ukulele is a good game. I think it, it's better than it gets credit for. If you like Banjo-Kazooie, you like just 3D platformers and collect-a-thons, you'll probably like it. Um, and it runs great on Switch, too. Um, like, better than I would have expected. You are all okay. You're our last hope, Star Fox. The invasion is progressing at an incredible speed. Rob, what are the conditions on the surface? Radar jammers are in place. Radar I really like the look of Corneria in this one. The enemy is using radar jamming devices based on technology we know nothing of. That's not important. We can still demolish them. Possibly. But you must attack them directly from the surface. From my shop. Please, Fox. I'm already. Oh no! General Pepper! Oh no! He's in serious trouble. Forget this. I'm going planet side to take out the radar jammers. 
What? Going solo again? Fox loves go. Fox loves going solo. Come down here, camera. If I don't make it back, I want you to go next. Yeah, whatever. Just get out of here and smash those blasted radar jammers, will you? All right. Here we go. Recapture amperoids have launched a large-scale attack on Capital City Corneria using electromagnetic barrier devices to just you got the rest, you got it. Yeah, I really like the the art like the art design of Corneria in this one, I think is really cool. This was also, I think, the best multiplayer map. Um if you played multiplayer on this, Corneria was awesome. Because there's so many little places to hide. Like this this particular level kind of feels like they made this map for the multiplayer and then put the single player level into it. Um because there's so much more detail in this map. And it's so much more like of an expansive environment than you would ever see just playing normal single player. Because there's so many like little like just like back here and like up in that area. And this map is huge too. Like it goes on for a ways. And you can go up on all those roads and I don't know. It's a really cool level. Alright. Come here. Boop. Alright, let's see how many we can get to from where we are. If we just look out here, see if we can spot any more. Oh, there's one right there. I wonder if I can hit that one. No, he's on the other side of that glass. I think if I move over... No, that's solid. I need to go over here. Okay. Uh, oh, wait. Did I switch? Oh, I did switch guns. Boop! Something else shot at me while I was... Oh, oh, oh wait. Was that, was that a radar jammer that just shot in there? Yeah, oh, they're over there. Okay, there's two of them over there. Boom. And you. Boom. And ow. Whoop. What? I don't believe in enemies behind me. Oh, no. Oh, I don't have anything to save you with, because I just have a sniper rifle. I really doubt. Wah! Oh, I hit one. Hua! And hua! Nope. Uh, hua! Yeah, this isn't gonna work. I need to, I need the... Is there a... I can't lock on with this to him, can I? From the ground? No, I need that up there. That's what I want. Hang on. We're coming. Excuse me, gentlemen. I just need your bazooka. Okay, where are you? That's Slippy. I don't care about him. There we go. And get him. Get him. Did I get him? Okay, got him. You might have. You're probably fine, though. Uh, okay, so let's go this way. Go around the outside. Excuse me, everybody. We need more ammo for our sniper rifle, actually. If we can find any. Okay, there should be one. Oh, there's one right up there. Okay. Right. Come here. Oh no. Okay, fine. I guess we'll deal with these guys first. They're not lurking behind anything. They're just standing right here in the open, shooting at me. I got them. And everybody? Yes. So we'll grab that real quick. Okay. And woo hoo hoo! Getting aggressive. There we go. Um, I need sniper rifle ammo somewhat badly. Alright, there's another one over there. Just gotta go. Who's shooting at me? Oh, all you guys. All of you guys are shooting at me. Got it. Alright. Who's got. Stop! Stop spawning! Boy, there are a lot of you guys. Die. Okay. Real quick before those guys respawn. Oops. Crap. I went around it. No! Who? Who is shooting at me? Boom. Okay. Uh, now I really do need more ammo because I am totally out. Oh, it was you that was shooting at me. Well, have a laser blob. Boy, they're giving me a lot of missile launcher now. I'll grab that health. Might as well grab the missile launcher. 
Oh, there's a life and a barrier down there. Oh, and there's a sniper. There we go. Whoops. Do do do. Jump right over you. Aha! Just spray and pray. All right. Um, there's a Gatling gun over there. That's pretty neat. Oh, I wanted this life. Where's that life? There it is. And this barrier. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop. Oh, wait. Is, was that one right there? Yeah, there's one right there. Okay. Uh, let me get to my sniper rifle. And get to a good spot. Get around this fence. Boop. One left. There's one, Peppy. Peppy has trouble counting. Um, Half-Life 3 for Did you get Skyrim on Switch? Yes, I did. Um, let's see. How much longer is the stream? I'll probably stream for another 20 minutes, just till the top of the hour. Um, we're actually a good chunk of the way through this game. If, if I wasn't... If I didn't have to get up tomorrow, I would just play through the entire game. Because it's not... It's not super long. It's just like a few hours long. Um... Though, the harder difficulties do make it longer because they give you more targets and make them harder to get to. Um, oh, you're up there, okay. Do do do. Whoop, you're still behind that, hang on. Uh, I switched to the blaster. I went around it again. I'm just, I'm, I'm struggling, hang on. Get rid of you guys. Alright, now we're good. Come here. There we go. Now he's gonna send me an R wing. Yep. Okay. Are you gonna get Dark Souls remastered? I think I will. Um, are you gonna get Payday Two? Probably not. That's doesn't just doesn't look interesting to me. Um, but Dark Souls Two is or Dark Souls remastered is one I've never played all the way through the first Dark Souls, um, and I, that's the type of game that I think will be good on a handheld. So I, I am probably gonna get that. Um, oh, you're you're up on top of this. I need to go up on this building. Doo doo doo. There we go. And oh, there's a cutscene. Have you played Celeste? That is my. I have not yet. Um, Neil reviewed it for the site and gave it a ten out of ten. So I, I've heard it's very good. But I haven't played it yet. It's Wolf. Dark Souls for it? Yeah, Dark Souls is only forty dollars, which is good. Based on this level alone, a multiplayer Star Fox game made by Dice would be really cool. You're the one who dropped. Maybe not. Maybe I think I just like to see. I mean, give give it to the Splatoon guys. Put the Star Fox Assault multiplayer, bump it up to like eight players, maybe sixteen if you can handle it, and uh, that'd be a great. Great We're game. Not done yet. I would like the next Star Fox to have online multiplayer. I think that's something that should be a bit more focused. I think this series has a great potential for multiplayer because it just has a ton of characters and weapons and ships and like it's it really does have great potential for multiplayer. Um, as long as you still have a good single player. I'm not a fan of like multiplayer only stuff. Um, I I value single player. This is a cool... So I didn't mention... I love that Wolf saves you, and then you have to work... Like, because cause even Wolf is like, dude, like, this is... Like, enemy of my enemy kind of thing. Um, but, uh... Yeah, I like the idea that you ultimately have to team up with Wolf to defeat the Aperoids. It's cool. It's one of the reasons I feel like Wolf is such a well-done character in this game in particular. Oh no, I'm not ready. Oh, I was turning up the music. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, hi. Hello. Oh, do you still have guys behind you? There you go. Are you good now? Yeah, you are. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Wasn't paying attention. Did you get Alien War on Switch? I did. Uh, Because I do like that game a lot. Alright, I need to pay attention. I keep taking unnecessary damage. 
do 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 blow up blow up there we go Curses! Not allowed to swear in this game. Do I think this game... This game is actually rated T for teen. This is not an E for everyone game, so they totally could have swore if they wanted to. Um, which is bizarre. Like, that means, like, Nintendo approved a T for teen Star Fox game. Which really surprises me. Um, it also surprised me that this game is T for Teen. Like, I'm not sure what in this game really warrants it. Like, I I guess E10 didn't exist yet when this game was was made. This would definitely be an E10 game now. Um, but yeah, it is. this is one of the odder T for Teen games. to shoot the thing. Where's the thing? Oh, they're over there. Oh, goodness gracious. And boom. I don't like... I don't know how more people don't talk about this game. It looks fun. I wish Dolphin ran better on my PC. I have played through this game in HD on the Dolphin Ishiruka build, which lets you do all kinds of graphical modifications. Um, and this game is beautiful in HD. Um... But yeah, um, that being said, uh, if you're going to emulate, emulate games you own, rip your own ISOs, do it legally, don't steal games, public service announcement from your local neighborhood, John. Unknown vessel approaching at high speed. Another enemy? Hold it. That silhouette. Is that the general's flagship? Is that you, Fox? Too late. The Aperoids. Oh, uh, let's see. I like Corneria here. It's strange that it's surrounded by an ocean. Well, I mean, it was kind of surrounded by an ocean in Star Fox 64 and Star Fox Zero. Like, you fly over an ocean to get to it. It is obviously, like, they've scaled it down a lot into this, like, weird island. Um, but yeah, I, I love the design of Corneria in this game. Uh, Smash Melee and Brawl are both teen. Why? Well, I mean, those, you're, like, literally punching people. This one is for fantasy violence. According to the case, it probably won't focus on that, will it? It says fantasy violence. You'll just have to trust me. Oh boy. I am low on health going into this boss fight, so we'll see how this goes. I have to avoid shooting Wolf. Just gotta be careful. I gotta concentrate for this boss fight. So I don't mess it up. And just hold down that shoot button. He's gonna do his little missile thingy. Nope, not yet, I guess. He has a move he can do where he shoots out a bunch of missiles, and it's very annoying. Here he goes. Is he gonna do it? Yep, okay. Boop, 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 boop. Oh no, I didn't get the first two. There we go, okay. And then we gotta get him before he attacks us. Okay. We're good, we're good. Oh, there's more. Stop it with your shenanigans. Nope, 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 there we go. You have to hit him enough or he'll do an attack on your actual ship. He's not like a horribly tough boss as long as you can keep putting pressure on him. If you like miss him too much and he kind of like gets a head start on you, which is easy to have happen in those segments, then, then he becomes a problem real fast. Disappeared. Oh, there he is. There he is. Coming out of the smoke for a surprise attack. Oh. Where'd he go? There he is. Shoot. 
Where is he? There he is. Get him! Die. Almost there. Whoop, missiles. Get the missiles. Oh no, I missed one. Stop launching missiles. You're so close to dead, just die. Whoop, whoop. He launched that one pre opened and ready to go. Dang it. Just die. You're so close. There we go. Okay. Uh, have you seen if Skyrim Online only? It's fun. Oh, yeah, yeah. Star Fox Assault released in North America February 14, 2005. E10 Plus introduced March 2005. So close. So close. Um, I do. It definitely would have been. This is like the definition of an E10 game, though. Um, yeah. Uh, of course, John, drugs are. Oh, in reference to, to don't, don't steal games. Yeah. Drugs are bad. Okay. So Alright, so Peppy saved General Pepper. Everybody's okay. Everybody's gonna live. Man, we are... I feel like if I played till, like, 11.30 my time, I could just finish the game. Because it's almost... It's, like, the top of this hour will be 11. Like, if I played for another, like, 40 minutes, I feel like I could just finish the game. I might... I might just do that. I have no idea how many of you would even hang around for that long, though. Thanks. I thought I told you. I didn't come here to save you. Even so. <laughs> so how long you plan on taking up space on my wing? Oh. <laughs> Fox, let me give you one piece of advice. Don't hesitate. When the time comes, just act. It's a good quote. Good quote. I actually, when I got my wedding ring, which is Star Fox themed because that's who I am as a person. Um, we looked at getting that. There's a... In grit, on the inside of my wedding ring, it says do a barrel roll. Um, we looked at putting, when the time comes, don't hesitate, just act. But it was too long to fit on the inside of the ring. So do a barrel roll. Uh, All ships are home. You'd stay, you'd stay, you'd stay, you'd stay. Alright, maybe let's just see. Let's, let's, let's power through. Let's see if we can just get... It would be awesome if we could just play through the entire game in a single stream. So let's let's see. We're not because we're not far from the end. We have um we have, so orbital gate, Aperoid homeworld, um this is and then the queen. We and that's team. that's it. We There's like three the levels. Four if you count world. the boss fight as a separate Great level. News, um, but yeah, we're we're very close to the end of the game. Wait, you can't go yet. We're over halfway. We're probably like we're probably like three fourths of the way through the game. I don't know how many levels there are. But we're a ways in. Another forty minutes. And if and yeah, if you guys need to, I mean, if you need to go to sleep, that's fine. These things are recorded. You can always watch back later. Or there's also. Um, you mean they contain there is a full let's play of this game. Of it's 3 p.m. Right. here. Where are you? To set off a chain reaction in those cells. It's 3 p.m. Where are you at? Will self um, That's there is a full let's play of this game with me and my little brother playing it. Um, that went up has in, in like 2015 or 16? 2016. 2016. 15. If you Somewhere. It went up at some point. Um, hi, Campbot. Um... You must protect the gate until the program Where, uh, we play through the entire thing. So you can also watch the ending like that if we don't make it through the entire game tonight. But let's see, let's see where, let's see where the time carries us. This is mission eight, so there are what, like twelve, oh, nine, ten, there are ten missions. Yeah, okay. So we are literally, when I said we were three-fourths of the way through, I was dead on. It was, that was very accurate. Uh, Japan, Hawaii. Even Hawaii wouldn't be 
If you have Japan, it'd be closer. Because that's a ways. I don't know why I was shooting at that Cornarian ship so aggressively. I definitely didn't need to. Is there a... I thought there was a wing power-up out here, but maybe there's not. All right. No, the way it's right here. It's right here. I see it. It's my my skill seeing wing power ups at 480p from great distances. Get off my tail! Get off my tail! Boop. All right, let's go in here. Do some fancy flying. Ow, you took more hits than I expected you to. We'll the gate. This is another really cool, well-designed area. Just, like, artistically. I like it. I like it a lot. It's a cool environment. It's fun to fly around in. Like, you have this, like, just open space area, but then you can also just kind of, yeah, like this, fly through trenches and stuff like that, which is always fun. Whoop. Oh, hi. We'll stop here. Ouch. There's a wing power up around here somewhere, I thought, but maybe not. Is there one down here? There might be one down here. I go in here. Whoop. Do do do, do do do. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, fine. Oh, never mind. We got a cutscene anyway. I'm kidding. It's 11 p.m. All right, you're in the same time zone I am. Messing with me. Central time zone for life. Yeah. West Korea is best Korea. <laughs> All right, I gotta concentrate. Whoop, I gotta, ah. To the missile. I wish I had found more laser power-ups. Are they up top, actually? Are they laser power-ups? No, okay, let's just, we just gotta go get the missile. Wasting time. do 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 Sorry for all the clicking. I'll try to click as quietly as possible. Let's loop back around and get this last one. Oh, Falco's got it. Falco is on the ball. Get off my butt. Whoop! Get some health. Go take down these missiles. Oh no. Whoop! I missed one. I missed one. Go back and finish that one off. Okay, there we go. Oh, you were shooting that one? You came in to shoot the one that I had almost already killed? I feel like that's cheating. Do 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 do. The big one. Do 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 do. All right, last one. There's one more. It's gonna spawn any second now. There will be a cutscene. It will be dramatic. Oh wait, no, it's back here. Never mind. I lied. Right? Where is it? Is it under me? I just flew right over it. Where's the? It's on, right on the radar. I'm right over it. There it is. Alright, 
Turn it around, slow it down. Boop, 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 boop. And look at this one. Die. Yay! I'm sure there's not one more even bigger missile that will come out of nowhere. Oh no! Alright, oh it's over there, okay. Let's go get it. Okay. Get around behind it and shoot it in the butt. Whoop, too close. Give it some space. All right, where's the, I don't remember where the, is it on the side now? Yes. All right, I need to get some space on it. Trust your instincts, Peppy. You've been poorly localized. Whoop. Whoop. Stop shooting at me. You are going to kill me. I have a bomb. I have a bomb. I'll shoot a bomb at it. That did nothing. How did the bomb do nothing? Uh oh. Ah crap. Ah crap. Ah crap. Oh crap. Crap 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 crap. Yes. Ho oh, ho ho ho. That was uh that was closer than I uh than I was hoping for. That was a little tense there at the end. Got a little uncomfortable there. Now all we have to do is gift wrap it for the Ethelroid Queen. Oh, let's see. It's time to head for their home world, huh? All ships are home. How's the gate? We're getting ready to move. Lock down the R waves. Okay. Next, we go to the Aperoid homeworld. That was, that was... Yeah, that was tense. That's always, I feel like that's the level that I almost, like, if you go and watch me and me and Dylan play through this, um, he actually, so he was playing this level, and he got shot down while shooting at the final missile, but he got shot down as it was blowing up, and so we actually, the level said complete, but our ship had crashed. Um, which was very exciting. Let me turn this up for the cutscene. Uh, there are like two, two levels well, left. It's almost time. Opening fleet-wide transmission channel. Attention fleet of Corneria. We in command have done all we can. From here on out, we're entrusting everything to you. So please, do your best, but try to come back alive. Okay, Pop. Link the gate. Yeah, it was a double knockout. Target, exactly. the Aperoid homeworld. Okay, is everyone ready? Star Fox, move out. Okay. 
Now we arrive at the Aperoid Homeworld. Aperoid system confirmed and stored in memory. This is it? It's lovely. I wasn't expecting that. Wait, its size and mass are disproportionate. What? What does that mean? Are you saying it's hollow? Okay. Let's go shoot some Aperoids. the Aperoids came from. Maybe we could use it to make our way to the planet interior. But after the Aperoids come out, it looks like some sort of shield goes up. Multiple shield generators. Right, so this is another run around a level. If the past is any indication, destroy the things. Along with those shield generators, huh? Even if we could move forward, that's as far as we'd get. It'll be dangerous, but we've got to demolish all the generators. So Star Fox has wormholes, but not FTL. Well, I think they're wormhole like they have like warp gates. Um so I think that is their faster than light travel is kind of their thing. I don't know. I don't know the physics behind it. Um Cause yeah, we don't ever see a ship go really. F but like, in the credits of Star Fox 64, the Great Fox seems to make it back to Corn Area pretty darn fast. But maybe, maybe there's an off-screen warp gate in use. All right, there's a machine gun. Try to do this level fast. Cause this level is not complicated. It's just a lot of running around. It's like Saria or, or Katina. Lots of just running around looking for the targets. So it's not as confusing of a layout as Saria is. That has a lot of like caves and stuff to go through. Um, I did, however, go the completely wrong way. Um, and this this is above me, not down here. So I don't need to be down here. I need to go up, not down. Whoops. Hi, friends. Let's just blow you up. Hi, everybody. Let's get rid of that hatcher. Oh, it has a... Oh, it's protected by those shield generators. Okay. Gotta blow these up. Boom. Oh, wow, you are resilient. Boom. 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 Boy, you, you take a lot of hits. And I don't want to shoot it too close and hurt myself with the explosion. There we go. All right. So we want to go back out here. Go across here. Are there any? There are, so, okay, there are some out here in this, in the silver difficulty version. So let's go get this one. Can I jump to that, or should I just... Oh. I'll just go down here. I'll do it the way they want me to, so I don't accidentally die. Probably should have taken the Landmaster, or flown over here. I don't know why I decided to walk, but it seemed like a really good idea at the time. Right, it should be. It's right inside here. I'm assuming the entrance is right over here. Usually these things are at the entrance. Yes, it is. Whoop. Hello, everyone. And... Whoop. I know, Peppy! I am aware of the situation, Peppy. I hate these things. My goodness. I am getting owned. Well, that's locked? Do I have to kill all these guys? Oh, well, that guy still can't kill. Blaster still doesn't work with that enemy. I should have listened to Peppy. Alright. 
have a grenade. Oh, he was slightly too far away from it. And boom. Oh. And boom. Now is it unlocked? Oh, do I have to blow it up with the Landmaster? Did I come all the way over here to not even be able to get in because I don't have the Landmaster with me? Gosh dang it. Ouch. Ooh, that wasn't good. That was a bad. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Run, 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 Get in the Landmaster. There we go. Woo! That was stressful. Quite stressful indeed. Blow up you guys. I need to find some health for Fox. At least all these enemies are dead. At least I, I took the time to do that. Assuming they haven't respawned. Doesn't look like it. Alright. Um, I don't suppose there's like health around the back of here. That would be a cool place to hide health. Nope. Okay. I guess I will just be super careful and hope I find health, maybe? Ooh, not what I want to do. This is nothing. Not how I want to do this at all. Uh, there's a machine gun. There's grenades. Okay. It's gonna spawn a bunch of stuff. Do you guys wanna be... Do you wanna have health, please? No? Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, what even are you? Alright, well, we got more... Bazooka. That's good. Still no health. <laughs> What's in there? Is that, that's a shield generator. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Please give me health. I want some health. I really, really, really want some health. Health, health. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to come around and shoot this guy with a bazooka, and then hide. And shoot that with a bazooka, and hide. And shoot him with a bazooka again, and hide. Do you have health? No? Okay. Cool. Didn't want health anyway. Not a big deal. Oh, there's another one of you. Okay. No! Ow! Oh. Okay. Okay, I don't have to start over. Like, it doesn't respawn anything. I just move back here. So not not horribly punishing. Um, and now I know what I'm doing. I just didn't take this guy with me, so I made a bunch of stupid... I'm going to go ahead and blow this up so I don't have to worry about it later. Okay, so, um, where were we? Over here. Alright, now we can just plow through here, because we have health. And I think most of those enemies will, I think they'll stay dead. I'm not sure. Well, these guys respawned, so that's, well, but the guys outside of there didn't respawn. The door respawned. Cool. Okay. Lost my machine gun. We'll go get this machine gun. Ooh. Boop, 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 boop. All right. Rocket launcher. There's a trap! It's a trap. Arr, arr, arr. Oh boy, whoops. That was a oh, bad weapon for right now, actually. Forgot that these guys show up first. Boop. And boop. And boop. Right, where's the ceiling things? And you. Blow up the ceiling guy. And you again. Alright, I got this guy. Yep, so I just need to blow that up. Okay, and have a grenade. Well, that was a bouncy grenade. Oh, look, health. Health, how great for me. Now, uh, crystal is hot. Crystal 
is not a not a not a human. Uh, that don't I don't know if those two things are compatible. There's a flag. Yes, totally worth it. Worth all of the pain and turmoil. Okay, so I got all those. So is that everything? And then I can just blow up the hatcher up here. I think that is the case. Nope. Alright, where's the last... Is it just over here? It must be over here. Yeah, it's over here. Another trap! Oh my. You know what, Peppy? I'm a little bit tired of your sass. I don't need any of it right now. Go. And boop. What? Oh, there we go. A sniper, yeah, that'll help. That'll be real useful in this environment. Keep missing this turret that is just right there. There we go. Uh, let's just toss a grenade down there, shall we? Whoop! I think those grenades both went too far. Oh, no, 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 I got some. Oh, three with that one. All right. And of course, now there's health everywhere. Okay. So now we should be able to blow up the hatcher. John, what's your favorite non-Nintendo console? Um, like, of all time? I really like the Dreamcast a lot. Um, there were a bunch of games, like, Sarge's Heroes for Dreamcast was amazing. Um, um, Gundam Side Story is, like, one of my favorite games. Uh, and that was a Dreamcast exclusive. Um, but I mean, like, I love the Xbox 360. Um, not a huge fan of the PS3, but I do like the PS4. Um, I never really got into, like, the Genesis or anything like that. Um, I honestly liked the PSP a lot. Um, like, I was more into the PSP than I was the DS. The 3DS won me back to Nintendo handheld consoles. Um, but I was never a huge fan of the, of the original DS. Okay. Let's get out of here. And we'll go get the one. There should be another one. Ho, ho, ho. Hello, friend. There should be another... Ah! Should be another, um, hatcher on the opposite side. So we'll go ahead and do that. Because the rest of them should all be in these main buildings. So let's go ahead and take out the one that's over here. At least, presumably, it's over here. I assume it's over here. My tank's almost dead. Um, there is a door right there. Oh, don't blow me up. I just want to blow up that door. No! Does it respawn my tank? I think Peppy will send me a new tank. Maybe. Can I blow that up with just a big old rocket launcher? Yes, I can. Okay. Whoops, that's a big one. Whoop. Okay. Now we just hi. Have a grenade. I get you? Nope. Boop 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 boop. Boop. Okay, got them. There's health, that's nice. And boop. Uh, favorite non-Nintendo franchise, um, if, like, the Ico Shadow of the Colossus Last Guardian franchise counts, that, that would be one. Um, Wing Commander, um, let's see, Witcher, I love Witcher, I like Elder Scrolls too. um, Fallout, um, though I wasn't a huge fan of Fallout 4, um, yeah, whoop. Whoop, stream freaked out there for a second. Let's see, okay, went back to normal. Oh yeah, speaking of Sega, what's your favorite Sonic game? My favorite Sonic game is Sonic Lost World. Um, I think that's the closest to good that franchise has ever been. Um, at least for 3D. 2D, if I had to pick a 2D Sonic, it would definitely be Sonic Mania. Do, 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 do. 
That actually went surprisingly well. Um, yeah, the stream was freaking out there for a second. I think it's back to normal now? It seems to be back to normal now. Um, whoa, hi, everybody. Let's do a machine gun. Yeah, Sonic Lost World is surprisingly okay. Whoop. Oh boy, there's a bunch of them. Um, let's see, what do I have for... I have more grenades. I can toss another grenade in there. I'll just stand right in front of that laser. Whoops. That was not a good grenade throw. There we go. There we go. Still lagging. It should be fine. Looks fine to me. Is everybody seeing lagging? A fellow, yeah, I I agree. I think Lost World was like they were definitely moving in the right direction, um, and then they just they were like, but what if Sonic Boom and Sonic Forces? Sonic Forces sucks, by the way. Like, real bad. Um, yeah, like, Sonic Lost World, like, they almost had something there, and then they just kind of, like, didn't do it. <laughs> you guys are... Oh, it's, it is lagging. Okay. Well, I don't know, guys. You might have to... Uh, if, if the internet's going to be done, we might have to end the stream here. It is almost 11.30. We might have to, uh, to end it there. Yeah. Yeah. The Sonic Boom show is great. Yeah. Alright, yeah. It's doing okay now. Boost formula is easy to crank out. Yeah, it does. It feels cheap. Yeah. Um, how did I get into this building? Where's the door? Not that way. Yeah, I'm probably, since it is getting to be like 11.30 and uh, and the internet's starting to be a little, YouTube's getting a little goofy, uh, might go ahead and call the stream here while things are still relatively under control. And uh, if you do want to see the very end of this game, you can check out uh, the Let's Play of it that we have posted here on the channel. Um, but yeah, while I still have some internet to talk to you guys, um, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe. Yeah, YouTube YouTube is angry that, that I'm about to finish the game. Um, be sure to subscribe. Check out NintendoWorldReport.com for a lot more. There's a link to our Discord in the, uh, in the description uh, where you can hang out and chat with fellow viewers and fans and, uh, and me and other staff members. Um, you can also check us out on Patreon at Patreon.com slash NWR. So, thank you very much for watching. Uh, and, uh, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye!